Because, I mean, who wouldn't love some dollar store tuna Alfredo, am I right? What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Today, as you read in the title, we're, we're switching things up a little bit. As I said in a couple videos back, I have officially ended the bulking diet that I was on. So my calories, my macros are switched up a little bit now. And I wanted to kind of show that a little bit, do somewhat of a full day of eating in kind of a fun, interesting, engaging way. So I posted on my Instagram story yesterday asking what kinds of foods I should eat all day today to fulfill my macros. The options I put were either protein bars all day or dollar store foods all day. And you guys vote about 75% for dollar store foods. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should be. You can vote in those kind of polls to see what kind of videos end up on this channel. But right now, we are indeed outside of Dollar Tree because I know now that Dollar Tree is the only true dollar store. Not Dollar General, not Family Dollar, those are fake dollar stores. If you know what I'm talking about, you watch the 100 Chips Ahoy Cookies Challenge video. Regardless, um, stop talking, let's head in. All right, everything here I think is actually a dollar, so we're off to get started. But the thing is, dollar stores have like a limited selection of foods. They don't have everything. So it's gonna be hard to find foods that are actually like macro friendly, that will allow us to hit our macros and calories for the day. That's the game we're playing. Let's figure this out. The tough part about this thing is proteins. Um, trying to find like lean stuff, because most of the stuff here at the dollar store is not not healthy foods. But they do have a, a couple options for lean proteins. Um, do dollar store proteins. Risky move, but uh, doing what we have to do today. All right, made it home, um, set you guys up here. I'm not gonna show you everything that I got. It came out to $11. So we have 11 different items here. It's gonna come out to, I think, four meals during the day, including one of the things that we have is this, uh, this carton of 2% reduced fat milk. Focus on the stinking, there we go. Um, yeah, so the thing about dollar store milk is it's, they have it on the shelf. It's not refrigerated. So um, I think I'm gonna toss this in the fridge. I'm gonna be drinking this throughout the day as part of my uh, eating diet. What my calories and macros are looking like today, because the, the goal today um, is to try to actually hit what my regular calories and macros would be with this kind of stuff. 70 to 80 grams of fat, around 425 to 450 grams of carbs and uh, 215 to 225 grams of protein. We're looking at around 3,300 calories and we're doing it all with stuff from the dollar store. I'm gonna break this out and I'm gonna get myself a thumbnail and we're gonna dive into our first meal of the day because it is already like 10.30 and I'm hungry. All right, let's dive in. Meal one, we have, I'll straighten gas. Meal one, we have a full packet of this chicken flavored Knorr, Knorr rice things. Um, my most of my carb source for the day will be these uh these Knorr rice and pasta packet things. And for protein, we got two cans of this canned white chicken. Take a look at that stuff. Doesn't that just look delicious? Mmm, tasty. I'm excited. Scrape that stuff on there. Super yummy. My first point of the couple points that I think I'm gonna make today uh, throughout this video is that this stuff is a little bit nasty. Take a peek at uh, that sweet amount of goodness we got there. Because another thing that I think I need to point out, I said a couple of videos back when I talked about ending the bulk that I was gonna kind of, I was trying to figure out like a, like a healthier diet structure for myself. This is not that. I'm doing this for the views. This is just like a, a interesting video. Macros for this meal. Up on the screen right there. I'm a pound this. First meal of the day. We'll eat another meal later. Almost forgot as I'm like halfway through my meal. I need to crack open my milk. It's still not cold because I like just got back and just put it in the fridge. I, I still don't really understand how they do this, but the non-refrigerated milk does freak me out a little bit, but. Whatever. I need to finish this bad boy throughout the day. We got how how big is this thing? A quart. A quart of two percent milk. I see you drinking one percent. 
Is that because you think you're fat? Because you're not. You could be drinking a hole if you wanted to. Post-workout meal now. Um, before I show you this meal, I'm sure you want to see the lifting footage because some of you are probably here for the, uh, the that aspect of the video, so we'll let those clips roll now. <coughs> Solid workout, and for our post-workout meal, we have some uh, Alfredo, do I have the package here? This Alfredo pasta thing. And on top of that, we have two cans of some chunk light tuna. Cause I mean, who wouldn't love some dollar store tuna Alfredo, am I right? However, the second point that I want to make um, in this video is that like cans of tuna like this, I bought these cans of tuna for a dollar at the dollar store. At a lot of grocery stores, you can get cans of tuna and like these kinds of things. Some of these things cost less than a dollar at normal grocery stores. So I may have ended up spending more money to get this stuff at the dollar store than I would at a normal grocery store. Not cool. But here we go. Here is the uh, the meal. Take take a look at that. Mmm. Doesn't that just look appetizing? And we can't forget our uh, our quart of milk that we have to drink throughout the day as well. Good stuff. It's been in the fridge for the past couple hours, so it's actually cold now, so it's a little less creepy. I'm gonna put this meal down now. Calories and macros will be up on the screen there. Still staying on track pretty well. We've got two more meals left in the day. I'll see you back here for dinner. I realize that um, I should probably record myself eating this because this is disgusting, and some people might not believe that I'm actually eating this, but I am. Um, Making me clothes and they. Okay. All right, dinner time now. Our protein source for dinner is going to be eight ounces of this tilapia that had it in the frozen section of the dollar store. A little bit sketch. Actual like meat protein from the dollar store. Uh, probably not ideal, but um, we're gonna toss the bad boy on the pan. That was lame. I was hoping for a little bit of a sizzle. And we are back for the third meal of the day in the exact same spot. I'm sorry, it's like, it's here in the kitchen. It's got good lighting. I was gonna change the scenery up a little bit, but you know, it, it's the lighting that really counts. I got my milk here as well. Here is the final product. We got that tilapia, if it focuses there. The, the tilapia kind of chopped up a little bit, sitting on a bed of this cheddar broccoli uh, rice pasta stuff. These things. Um, loaded with sodium. I have got like 300% of my sodium for the day. Actually, honestly, probably, probably four or 500% really. And, you know, I just realized like as I was making this that I have made just a ridiculous mistake. I cannot believe that I've forgotten throughout this entire day the secret to gains. This would have been so, so much easier, so much better throughout the day if I had just remembered. Sriracha and mustard, which just makes everything taste better. This is now a proper meal. Macros for this meal up on the screen right there. Once again, we're trying to keep this within our calories and macros for the day, but the uh, the chicken, the tuna haven't killed me yet. Um, I'm still, I'm still chugging away on this milk. Milk. Oh, finished. Final meal of the day now, and it wouldn't be a day full of eating dollar store foods unless we had like a legit fun, fun dollar store double XL burrito. Microwave burrito from the dollar store. Macros on this are pretty rough. 33 grams of fat, 79 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna eat this to finish off our macros for the day. Set the camera up here. And uh, one, two, three. And here we are. Um, this was a bigger burrito. I cut it in half, because everyone knows. Every, every time you microwave a burrito, the ends are super hot, middle is super cold, you just cut it in half, fixes all your problems. It's still gonna be ridiculously hot, but you know, anyways, I'll probably still take a bite for the sake of the vlog, because why not? We're good, definitely the most enjoyable part of the day. So far. Fry! Fry! I'm vlogging!
I got the rest of my milk that I need to finish too. Um, but yeah, this is this is the final meal of the day. Ha! Who doesn't love a good microwave burrito? I definitely used to eat these back in the day before I was really like tracking macros or anything. Ugh. It went a little too hard, too intense. It's not that serious, guy. Come on, I don't got time to let this cool down. We got, we got, we got finish, finish the video. Ah, that's all she wrote. Oof. Burn my mouth. Burn my mouth a little bit, I think. And here we are the next morning. Calories and macros for the entire day of eating will be up on the screen. Very interesting way to hit the macros for the day. We went a little over on the carbs and fats. Honestly, just because I was rushed for time in the store. So I was grabbing random stuff, trying to do quick math. But all in all, a decent job. Definitely not the most enjoyable day of eating, but we made it work. We're gonna wrap the vlog right here. So if you enjoyed this video today, it was an interesting one. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let's see how many we can get. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you wanna see any other kind of weird diet challenge full day of eating type things, let me know. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, what are you doing? Hit that button down below. Join the family. It is the year of the vlog. That's all I got today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.